Hello 5-9 Gamers, it's your boy Minato here and we're bringing you back with another Dokkan discussion video. So of course I'm not alone, uh, you know, I'm together here with the homie Go Riot and uh, Kenzo. So feel free to say hello guys. Yo, hello, yo, hello, yo. hello. What up gamers? Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be doing some interesting global chaos discussion here. Uh, so I brought two of some global players, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure both, both of you guys play mm -hmm. global, right? I'm, I'm 99 yes. for sure. Yeah. yeah, there you go. No, we got to right. get the global opinion on this and, you know, an outside observer as me, a JP player, in regards to all these recent, like, delays and, like, scheduling fixes and stuff like that, that have been kind of, like, messing things up so you know uh i'll let you go ahead and go uh feel free to go ahead and explain kind of you know the general gist of what's going on basically yes so effectively what's been happening i mean you guys can see on your screens right now we obviously have the khalifa and kale information coming out and obviously i seriously posted a tweet a couple of days ago actually saying you know teasing kefla of course and uh Initially, a lot of people thought, oh, easy A, and I, I mean, I, I would have mm -hmm. been surprised if it was an easy A for Kale and Khalifla, but obviously it was more so for Global, we're getting Kale and Khalifla, that, that fused into Kefla, of course, and uh, that set off a lot of things, right, because we were expecting to get Super Vegeta at this point, because that would have been the natural progression, um, so that's one delay, first and foremost. Along with that, if we look at what happened last year, of course, with, uh, you know, uh, what's his face coming out? Uh, who was last year? Gohan. Gohan coming out last year for the Double yep. Raids banner. It does seem like even if we do get the Kalen Khalifa celebration, it does seem like Hit and Godku won't come along with them. They'll be postponed as well. And not to mention the already existing delay of Super Janemp as well. So that's three units that have been most likely delayed. Obviously, we aren't sure on Hit and Godku, right? Because we still don't know if we are going to get the Double Raids banner at the same time as JP like we did last year with Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So, yeah, it's going to be up in the air. It seems like they're just, again, you know, messing up with global schedule. As per usual, it always happens during Christmas. It's always during a TOP-related celebration. At this point, you know what? Just delete the entirety of TOP. Nobody cares about this. Nobody cares about the damn arc anyways. Screw the, screw the damn thing. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, to, like, to be fair... There is still some, you know, units in the uh, TOP that are missing. Like, we still need a transforming uh, Jiren that goes into full power. I mean, we still need that. Um, but there's, the like, the LR Jiren, who is full mm -hmm. power. Um, God, Topo as make, well. Make, make, make a point. Yeah, that too is all Topo. It got us into Topo. So, like, I, at first, I didn't notice the pattern uh, of Global that every Christmas is going to be TOP. So, it yep. started with UI Goku first, where it was, it was like, mm -hmm. 2017. So, yep. it's been, like, almost, like, years. Four and years. And then it was... <laughs> Yeah, and now it was uh, Hit, who was the global first. Mm -hmm. And then uh, next, it was a global first. It was Kaioken Goku. Mm -hmm. And so I, at first, I didn't notice it until like now. Cause and then we obviously last got year, Evoken last year. Yeah, Evoken yeah last, last year. year yeah, it was, it was Blue Boy. So they, I think next year for Christmas, it might be a global first. I'm 100% saying that it will be global first. Probably got us in Topo or something at least. And this so, year like... This, these global first like you know uh sorry to cut you off the can't say but i yeah really want to bring this point here the issue with these global first is that they always mix things around or bring things early or delay things and it ends up causing just to be a huge mess or you know they just ends up being completely pointless like you know the great ape easy a's like think about it because of those great ape easy a's you guys got those super battle road stages delayed by like a few months and we had still have no idea when those super battle road stages are going to come you know uh, again this count Khalifa celebration is coming right here but if we take a look like here so the double rates banner for jp uh should be around like this area right here like the 12th or 13th right yep. Mm -hmm. um if Kale and Khalifa drop now they're not going to drop hit and god goku right here then right here you have to keep in no. mind that there's also going to be the christmas banner which is most likely going to be where banner. tech yeah the town of banner where tech Gogeta returns then after they're probably going to drop another dokkan fest here which this should be well probably where super vegeta drops maybe i mean who knows dude they, i mean ideally yeah uh, it ideally, should be super vegeta yeah, 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 yeah. let's yeah. presume because i mean let's let's one on. second quick yeah. Quick thing I, uh, I wanted to mention as well. Um, Super Vegeta came out la uh, in before 350, right? For JP, if I'm not mistaken, right? 
Yeah, right here. Yeah. 30th of July. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, July, they've, July. they've done this before because I don't know if you remember way back when, um, when we had the download celebration for Gohan and Cell, right? Before that, JP got Piccolo, of course, right? Leading into uh, Gohan and Cell. And then, of course, similarly, during that period, we got Piccolo at, on the first. We never, we didn't get him before then. We got him on the first. Of course, you know, back then we obviously had also the Duo Dokkan Fest to go through and stuff like that yeah. from uh, Golden Week and stuff. But it's similar. It's a similar pattern to what we're getting now. Super Vegeta should be coming around that time when we did get Piccolo as well. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Uh, that, that, that I could definitely see that coming for sure. Um, and is this a thing like... So, like, if we presume, again, Super Vegeta, he comes out on the, like, 31st or something for December right here. Like, January 1st, yeah. December, around here. Uh, I mean, check if, uh, check what Piccolo's date was. Yeah, we can let's, probably... Let's check Piccolo. Uh, we can go to the Android uh, Cell Saga category right here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Because I think that would be, like, the most uh, logical comparison to make effect. So, Piccolo came out on, um, on January 6th. January. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. there's also the New Year's banner in the first. Um, exactly. That makes sense. Yep, so let's exactly. say he, let's say he drops okay. on the sixth of January right here, right? Um, you have to keep in mind they still have to drop Janemba. So probably like around the sixteenth or seventeenth. Like they're not mm -hmm. gonna yeah. they're not gonna drop Pit and God Goku before Janemba. They're not gonna push him that far. So we're gonna get like yeah. you know, Janemba right here or something like that. And then around the here, this time frame, this should be when Global gets the Androids most Trunks. likely. Or Trunks, Trunks, yeah, Trunks is another yeah, unit Trunks, that they have yeah, to Trunks. bring. And then yep. after Trunks right here, they will probably drop hitting God Goku in the second half or so. Because uh, you already, you guys, Global already got heroes, so they don't have to worry about getting that, of course. And then it's just like hitting God Goku here, and all the way to February, then Janemba all the way to January right here. Like Janemba came out, like Janemba's going to be pushed back by like three, four whole months. Hitting God Goku is going to be pushed back like two whole months. It's... It's really it's crazy. Dumb. And then again, yeah. there's a whole thing with the super battle road stages not showing up. It's like I don't know what they're thinking. I personally feel that if they should they should stop trying to like do these like all cute like oh global first stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. same time stuff. Let's just mess up the entire schedule. Oh, we should bring hero I, same time and then we should push back yeah. this LR by like six months. <laughs> I think I'm fine with them doing certain things right like the one thing i say I, I really like them doing was the fizz vb and aj rose easy i think oh, that yeah. was handled oh, yeah, really well i think that was handled mm -hmm. really well them making completely fresh units and giving them to us and stuff like that i don't think that really works the way you know they wanted to and i'd rather they stick to what you know is the schedule because i know people will say oh but we're waiting six months and stuff like that i'm an f go yeah. player i have to wait two years for a goddamn <laughs> unit to come on any <laughs> so it, it, again and the thing is with f go and i've said this multiple times on stream and even in various other videos is that they have a set schedule so if it's two years it is literally two years they're not gonna you know you know change things up or anything it'll come two years later you're gonna have to deal with that fact no matter what right um, I think Dokkan is in a much better position than FGO because it's only six months. It's not a big gap. I don't mind them doing also the, first, you know, at the same time, dual Dokkan Fest and of course the uh, worldwide celebration and stuff, right? I think those should be conducted at the same time. But that's also something we should consider, right? Is if they want to do the New Year's dual Dokkan Fest at the same time as well. Because if that's the case, then Super Vigil is pushed back even further more so. So that's something we should also talk about okay. potentially as well. Um, is if they want to make dual Dokkan Fest at the same time from here on out outside of Anniversary, right? Um, but yeah, I just think that they should maintain this set schedule. They can do, you know, once in a while, like the EZA can be, you know, if it's, for example, something like, for, I don't know, Gojira and Omega Shenron. Choose which uh, choose which EZA you want first kind of thing. Like they did oh, with yeah. FizzBB and uh, Rosé. I think that's fine. Just don't touch the other side of the, side of the schedule. I think they shouldn't at all. Because that just I, leads to problems. I, I don't know about you, Kensei. I feel like with easy A's, it's fine, you know, for most of the time. Mm -hmm. The only thing that, the only time that an easy A really hurt it is, again, I'm pretty sure the reason that Super Battle Road stages didn't come with Gohan is because of that stupid oh, yeah. grade A easy A, you know? It's like when they, yeah. when they bring something and it's only adding stuff to a celebration, it's not taking anything away, then that's fine. But if we know something is supposed to come and people are waiting for that thing to come for a few months and then it doesn't come out, that's very... 
that doesn't I don't think that's good honestly like <clears throat> they, you can they can't say you can't make the excuse that you know oh you know the global players didn't they're not supposed to know about the Japanese version when they mentioned multiple times in the news that for example during Golden Week they said oh we're having a collaboration with the um Japanese I mean, the version. worldwide celebration I mean, exactly. the worldwide celebration that is yeah, yeah. yeah so like of uh, they know that people know the other version so they know people are expecting this stuff and they push it back yeah no one's gonna like that obviously the one thing that I want to talk about real quick that Gail said is that, um, you know, that New Year's uh, Dokkan Fest, that could happen this year because remember, uh, Golden Week was combined this year because we've yeah. got the G GT Duo units. So if they are going to push even more, <laughs> if they're if they're going to give us a New Year's Duo Dokkan Fest, that's going to, you know, it's going to blindside us pretty much because I mean, oh, we, we, we expect Super Vegeta to come on New Year's, right? The reason I would but doubt what if that you know, uh, yeah. is because Global's going to get their Christmas banner right here. Yeah. And then this yeah. is usually when the JP Dodo Confess starts. So, um, and then there's the... No, uh, well, uh, check PyCon. If you yes, can check, PyCon, PyCon dropped PyCon on the 26th. <laughs> I know that for sure. sure. Was yes. it on the 28th? He's not a New I, Year rounder. Yeah. No, he uh, dropped. Check, uh, I'll, I'll show you right the now. The World Warriors. He uh, dropped okay, on I mean, the yeah. 26th right here. I'll get his ball. All right. Here. Yeah, because I, I was I, because I know obviously we have Jump Fester coming on the 18th oh, and 19th, oh. right? That should tell us when what the units oh, the are. Anyways, oh, okay. like December 28th. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but still, I mean, they're gonna drop the Christmas yeah. banner here. On the, like, yeah, 25th. that's no. And then there's New Year's right here as well. Yeah, we'll find out. Obviously, I think the thing oh, is, you know, it was Gogeta know... Blue who dropped on the twenty sixth. Ah, okay, there you go. The one thing I was gonna say is, we'll know beforehand if it is going to be a, a dual Dokkan Fest purely because they will probably show it off at Jump Festa like they did last year, right? So, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we should. We we will definitely be a bit blindsided because we are right now, as of right now, we are expecting him to be the next Dokkan Fest on the first or the sixth, whatever it is going to be. Uh, but we will know quite well in advance if it is going to be a dual Dokkan Fest on the 6th, 18th or 19th itself, I would assume. Uh, unless and they want to just keep it a secret until later, but that's, I hope, hopefully yeah, I mean, not. To clarify, this is for yeah. mostly global. Uh, for JP, it's 100% going to be a Dokkan Fest, uh, dual Dokkan Fest. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, just yeah, to clarify yeah. that, so people aren't like, yeah. Gail, it's always been a dual Dokkan Fest during this time. What are you talking I, I, about? I, I, I should specify, we will find out if it is a dual Dokkan Fest uh, with Global being involved. That That's what I mean. There will uh, also be a Dokkan, Dokkan now announced too. A Dokkan now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, they'll obviously show a little bit of the footage, maybe like show the super attacks off and that's it, literally. We'll find out what the two units are, which I mean, it's, I mean, assuming it is going in the right order, it seems to be another Android class Cell Saga or Future Saga related theme, but we'll find out of course later on. Um, yeah, overall, I, I mean, I mean, I, I have to agree, like, uh, it, obviously now that you mention it, of course, with the Tanabata banner and New Year's, it does seem unlikely that it is a dual Dokkan Fest, but I don't know, man, you never know, they could change uh, things up. And plus the Tanabata banner, in my personal opinion, I don't think it is a, I, I know they obviously treat it like it's an actual Dokkan Fest, but I think yeah, they yeah. could treat it like an add-on banner more so than anything else. Kind of like how uh, when JP does Tanabata, they have the main Dokkan Fest going on, of course, and then six days later, the Tanabata banner drops, or a couple of days, a, a week or two later, Tanabata banner drops. I think they could do something like that where it's running simultaneously, but Tanabata is kind of like an add on, or Christmas is an add on. They could do that yeah. as well. I mean, uh, how long is the uh, Christmas banner for like a week, probably? probably? I mean, we could uh, check. I'm not too sure. Yeah, um, yeah, we could check the banners. Uh, All campaigns global, and then we can go last year. I'm checking Dokkan Festival Merry Christmas. It was. It. Okay. Uh, it doesn't. I don't know where it's. It's at. not mentioned here how long the global it is. Version's God damn it. Weird. Where, do, where is the global version of Christmas at? What? What's going Should on? Should be the fifth. Yeah, yeah, fifth year. Yeah, right I, there. Okay. I hate yeah. it because I know JP is usually like on the freaking uh, like January. It's the beginning of the year. Uh, global but a little global's bit. like probably. in the middle yeah, of the year, so it's really part weird. Two. Yeah. Part two. Right it's here. part two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And again, because the reason is there's also going to be, uh, see, this one lasted all the way until, yeah, so it's the 24th to the 29th. Five days. Yeah. Oh. But keep in mind, this one well, Those did are the have... discounts. But those are, wait, those are the discounts, oh, yeah, though. The see. actual banner went up until the third. The third, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, but third, keep in okay. mind, there's going to be discounts, there's going to be tickets, mm -hmm. you know, Tech Ojita, he might be available mm -hmm. with coins, so they might treat it as a bigger deal mm -hmm. than usual. Um, yeah, possibly, possibly. I mean, what, what could happen is that they could return Tech Ojita like this. 
and then instead of dropping a next like another dokkan fest like on the sixth or something they could just drop janemba here instead and then super vegeta like switch it up because it's technically like a dokkan fest and then the new year's banner then they could drop just an lr janemba then they could do super vegeta mm -hmm. right here but again the thing is that like that, that's the issue like well, it's funny speculating on it but the fact that there's this whole uncertainty in the air it just doesn't i don't think it feels right and then from last year as well um so for some reason global got the super saiyan 2 gohan <laughs> from last year because we, we we were not expecting that to happen like at i think all. it might happen again because um, <laughs> that's an issue again. yeah it'll probably happen again yeah probably because like we're, god goku and hit is gonna go all the way to february it's just it's just a bunch of global chaos just like the new android uh category name global chaos <laughs> but yeah i oh, mean yeah. <laughs> um, i feel like we've kind of basically covered it all here guys any final thoughts before we go ahead and kind of just wrap it up here um please akatsuki if you're listening to this stop yeah <laughs> y'all need to stop man chill relax it's not that serious you know keep keep the schedule as is it's as simple as that i i don't understand why they want to change it up so much i understand it's more so because they can it, they think it's a way for us to shut up but it's more of a reason for us to speak up more and more than anything else so yeah it's yeah. just uh, unfortunate because it, again it just you know you're unnecessarily delaying content that people wanted anyways i.e super battle road right um and and for example i will also add on one more point is look at uh what's happening with heroes one week ago we had nothing to do and then all of a sudden we have 10 easiest to do we have great save and one and two is easier to do we have the extreme uh, or the extermination easiest to do as well so it's like we had like so much come in the span of like what was it a day or two and then it was like okay now do all of this at once rather than that they need to learn how to like spread yeah. out content better that's that's the one thing i've noticed is they don't know how to manage content extremely well at all so that's my personal thoughts can say what about you mate uh honestly i i could at the same time i dislike it for what like i dislike and how they're gonna be doing this where like every single chris is now gonna be a top maybe, maybe they could break in next year but i highly doubt it because they're gonna be put, putting this as uh, as the, the top of christmas so I I was actually uh, expecting for Janemba to come, which I wanted him to summon on, but it's like, now I'm going to save until what, next year? Um, and I just don't like that, honestly. Because right now, we're gonna get is easy for the, for the uh, physical Kefla, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, and we're gonna give it more easy for the free to play units. I mean, sure, like we'll, we'll take that, but it's like, they're pushing a lot of uh, more content and, and I do think that Extremes for Battle might come to Christmas. Uh, I'm not sure, but if they are going to drop Extremes for Battle Row to easy aid the Bulma, the Bulma and Goku uh, all the LR, I guess that's fine. But it's like um, they could push that even more with either Super Vegeta or even even, even longer <laughs> if they're going to do that. Because I'm not sure when did uh, we got the easy. Who who was the last easy aid LR for the Super Battle Road? Was it? I forgot who was it. Uh, was it the Goku? Was, uh, Goku Go and Bulma. Yeah. Goku book. Okay, so ah oh man, they might put this in Christmas probably just to so that can be caught up. But um, we're still missing a lot more. Uh, we're Battle we're missing think. we're mi missing Omega Shenron as well, mind you. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> lot I mean, you could definitely get the uh, Shenron LRs on Christmas probably. I beg, I, mean, bro, I want, I want, I want to step into the Grand Tour, man. Come on now, <laughs> oh, the Grand Tour. <laughs> JP can yeah, already get four so. of them right now. <laughs> it's oh yeah, so it's gonna take like guy, few, even a few months to get that LR. <laughs> so to turbo him. So I, I just don't don't like that law. <laughs> I, I don't like that. Yeah, and again, I agree. I mean. I said the same thing before, but they keep mixing these things back and forth and making things uncertain and just could be weird. I mean, I guess if you're, if, it's a good thing if you're a Super Vegeta fan and you're just trying to save stones for him. Yeah, of course. Because you, you could just skip this banner, but uh, I, don't, I don't like it personally. But uh, I mean, everyone. They got Tech Vegeta coming in. <laughs> yeah. So people are going to be something on that. Yeah, exactly. Dude, it's going to be crazy. So you guys better. I'll, uh, just speaking on this banner, I would say skip it. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy stuff coming up. Even discounts as well. Even, even with the whole like <laughs> uncertainty stuff like that. I would say do discounts, but you know, um, feel free to go ahead and save your stones unless you're a really died hard like uh, Kale Cleveland fan, like you know Shinobu. If you're watching this, I see you, buddy. But <laughs> yeah, um, well, we'll go ahead and wrap things up here. So thank you guys for joining on wait here. A wait, a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Minato. What? You haven't spoken about your goat. 
Oh right, I, I'll bring him up before we end this right here. Oh the goat. <laughs> yeah, the goat units in Scabe. If you see right here, I commented a lot during this video. <laughs> <laughs> that, that should let you guys know what I think of this banner and uh, this unit. So I <laughs> yeah, imagine being a support type unit that needs uh, units around you to support you. Isn't that crazy? That's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> but fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, again. We're wanted off here. I don't want this to go for like too, too long. I mean, 20 minutes already, but you know, there's a lot to talk about, I feel like. So, thank you all for watching till the end. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, follow our link tree. Link tree. Ah, I can't speak in the comments below, in the description below, actually. I'm a mess. <laughs> It'd be like that. Okay. Thank you all for watching till the end, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye bye.